gynecology and pediatric disease and experimental surgery. It's an area of research that includes seven groups. Maternal fetal medicine, pediatric surgery, genetics, spine, ophthalmology, general surgery, and cranio-maxillofacial microsurgery. I would like to start with the maternal fetal medicine group that I am leading. Uh, we are six researchers and we have published 34 papers in the last five years. I would like to remark in 2012 the publication in The Lancet of a randomized control trial using uh, cervical pessary to prevent prematurity. Cervical pessary is this round silicone ring that it's placed around the cervix in cases of short cervical length to prevent prematurity and that can decrease uh, prematurity rate in about 75%. Nowadays, uh, we are developing five big research projects, two RCTs again using the pessary for prevention of prematurity in twin pregnancies and after threatened preterm labor, one RCT concerning the use of magnesium sulfate in cases of um, expectant management of preeclampsia, and one longitudinal multicentric study to describe risk factors in obesity in different cultures. We are also performing another randomized controlled trial using heparin in early pregnancy to prevent preeclampsia and intrauterine growth restriction. Focusing specifically in fetal medicine, our group works in close cooperation with the group of pediatric surgery, especially in developing translational research in the fields of prenatal treatment of myelomeningocele and also congenital diaphragmatic hernia. The group of bioengineering, orthopedics and surgery in pediatrics involves four researchers in pediatric surgery area and seven in the bioengineering area. The group is led by Dr. Cesar Garcia Fontecha. The publication to be remarked in 2012 is uh, fetal surgery of myelomeningocele from experimental results to clinical evidence. Nowadays, they are developing five big projects, all of them in an animal model. In a ship model, uniportal fetoscopic repair of myelomeningocele using amniotic stem cells in sheep, prevention of shoulder dysplasia with botulinum toxin in obstetric brachial palsy, and nanoscopic study with Raman spectroscopy in early fetal tracheal occlusion as a fetal therapy of pulmonary hypoplasia in congenital diaphragmatic hernia and in a rabbit model, a pharmacocinetic study about penetration of antibiotics in bone marrow infection in the immature skeleton, and the analysis of the revitalization of cryopreserved bone structural grafts using vascularized periosteum. The genetic research group combined clinical genetics and research. It's led by Dr. Alberto Plaja, it involves five researchers and they have published 31 papers in the last five years. Nowadays, they are developing four research projects about study of the spectrum of disorders associated to fetal alcohol syndrome, investigation of the role of genomic rearrangements in congenital heart defects, and development of new diagnostic tools in prenatal and postnatal genetic clinic. Description of human molecular genetics in schizophrenia and autism, and elaboration of computer tool to welfare development of clinical genetics. The new technologies and cranio maxillofacial microsurgery research group is led by Dr. Coro Bescos, involves six researchers, and they work in close relation to the Universitat Politécnica of Barcelona. Nowadays, they are developing five big projects. Controlled tumor resection by intraoperative imaging assistance in oral cancer. 
using 3D navigation system combining MRI and PET CT. The second one is application of enriched autologous fat grafting stem cells as a reconstructive procedure in patients with sequelae of the treatment of head and neck cancer. The third one, investigation of quality of life in patients with advanced cancer of the maxillofacial area. Four one, face transplantation in animal model. And the last one, identification and characterization of metastasis. And it's made in collaboration with the Cancer Lab Center for Genomic Regulation. The ophthalmology research group is mainly focused in retinal vascular disease. It's led by Dr. Josep Garcia Aromi, and it involves 11 researchers that have published 27 international publications in the last five years. In 2012, they have published three papers in retina all of them related to improvements in the field of retinal treatment. Nowadays, they are developing six big research projects. Regarding gen therapy, they are researching new systems on non-viral gene therapy for the treatment of diabetic retinopathy. In animal model, they are developing two projects, PEDF in the treatment of choroidal neovascularization of age-related muscular degeneration, stem cell therapy in retinitis pigmentosa, and they are leading with three RCTs inside Eurocondor, the European Consortium for the Early Treatment of Diabetic Retinopathy, an RCT to evaluate the efficacy of neuroprotective drugs to prevent or stop diabetic retinopathy and crystal and brighted projects about the use of ranibizumab in patients with visual impairment due to macular edema secondary to occlusion of the central retinal vein. The Spine Research Unit is a multidisciplinary team led by Dr. Bellissé. It involves 11 researchers and they have published 27 international publications in the last five years. In 2012, one publication in The Lancet about non-specific low back pain. Nowadays, they are developing five big research projects, a multi-center prospective study about clinical outcomes following conservative and surgical treatment of adult spine deformity related to the European Spine Research Group, a multicenter study about vertebral fractures and tumors, also related to the complex spine study group, the XLMT Osteo Alpha project about stem cells treatment of osteonecrosis in femoral head, the Apollo trial, an RCT to evaluate the performance of Indugraph in posterolateral fusion, and finally, the Scully Risk 1, which is a prospective observational multicenter study about the evaluation of neurological complications associated with surgical correction of adult spinal deformity. The General and Gastrointestinal Research Group involves 24 researchers and it's led by Dr. Manuel Armengol. They have published 31 papers in international journals in the last five years. Nowadays, they are developing five big projects, an RCT comparing two techniques of reconstruction of intestinal transfer after total masorectal scission in cancer surgery, evaluation and clinical validation of the sentinel lymph node biopsy in the diagnosis of nodal excision of papillary thyroid cancer, evaluation of biological implants for the repair of abdominal wall defects, an European grant related to ECORP, the European Clearing House of Open Robotics Development, which is the development of a robotic manipulator of human tubular tissues for suture and support in anastomosis surgery intervention, 
and in an animal model evaluating the efficacy of a prosthetic mesh impregnated with silver versus prosthetic mesh without silver impregnation, the utility in the repair of the abdominal wall in cases of bacterial contamination.